Which program for UML is a professional UML modeling tools? What that means professional? Professional means the tool doesn't just provide the diagramming features. You're not just allowed to draw the diagram, but you can also use the model explorer to manage the repository of your projects. The repository is a internal view of the elements of your design elements. In the diagram, you can see the shapes and what they are connected. In the repository, you can see another point of view that you can see all the elements in a structured manner. For example, here we have the COM package. Under COM package, we have a VP. Under that, we have a human resources HR package. And inside HR, we have a lot of classes. For example, we have a staff. The staff can join multiple projects. And the staff also have a multiple salary records. And the staff is also belong to the departments. And this is you can see in the diagram and also in the repository. So imagine that you now develop another part of your systems. You go to the sales. You have the order and the customer. I just keep it very, very simple to let you easy to understand. And you want to model the order is handled by one staff. Then in this case, if you're using a gen general drawing tools like Visio, you need to create a class called staff here, something like that. But in Visio Paradigm for UML, you don't need to recreate the things many, many times. You can reuse the staff from the start from the other package I just drag it out to the diagrams then you can see the staff is showing all the properties name telephone address here <coughs> you see the name telephone address and if you change the staff here you change the attribute let me just add an other attribute <coughs> to it Yes, okay, then I just give the name, say this is um, the attribute name, is the um, second, um, maybe the email address, something. Then you can see here we also have the email. So you can see the change will update automatically in all the diagram which is using the staff. And now you can connect the things like the staff is used to handle the order. The staff will handle multiple order, one and many. So the staff will handle the order. Or if you like, I can also give this the name. <coughs> he will handle the orders in the staff. Okay, now we can share the repository. You can share the elements between the diagrams, which is we call a context-based diagram. <coughs> okay, based on this idea, we will have a much more important concept. You see, when you focus on these shapes, we see the uh, order, but we focus on staff, we see an A here. The A, a little uh, lowercase a here, is means this is an auxiliary view. If you go back to the other class diagram, you see there's a staff, there's an M, a big M. A uppercase M means this is a master view. What is the difference between the master view and uh, auxiliary view? is the master view can control the parent structures. The structures means in the repository structures. Let me show you immediately. For example, I create a package called staff here. If I move the staff into the staff package, you can see, uh, sorry, it, it doesn't big enough to install. Yes, let me just contain it. You can see the staff is jumped into the staff package. But if I do it, the same thing in the sales diagram. This is the order, order system, something like that. Then if I drag the staff into the order system, it doesn't affect the structures. It doesn't even show in the tree because it's just an auxiliary. You just borrow the staff from the other package you're showing here. So even no matter where I put, it will still just keep it here. But sometimes in the futures, maybe you want to change who is the master wheel. To change the master wheel, you can right click on the elements and then go to the related elements. You will see there is a show other wheels pop up. You click it. 
then you can see there is a where is the other wheels this is the other wheels is here then you can click the set master wheel the set master wheel allows you to configure where is the master wheel currently the this one this wheel is the master wheel I can select the cells as a master wheel then you will see it will immediately move the staff to the sales package or you can keep the model explorer model explorer means all the view all the view you see in the diagram is not a master wheel it just will follow the um, parent structures in the model explorer in the repository in this case I want to show you to move to the cells then I click OK and close you can see now there is a change to M in the sales diagrams if I move this one to the order systems you can see in the explorer in the repository it will go to the order systems so you can configure the master wheel in the wheel or follow the repository this gives a very great flexibility for you to organize your model in a controlled manner and thank you very much for watching this video